guys right. do make that judgment. Jackie suffered from that to such a high degree to yeah. the point where not only we'd always say, Jackie, do you know this guy? Great guy, funny guy. Then we realized that Jackie was never going to say anything negative mm -hmm. to the point where Jackie was getting accused by other comedians. There were comedians that thought Jackie was keeping him off the show. All right. And I can tell anybody who's listening now, Jackie never had a negative word about a road comedian ever. Right. He, he, and one thing that probably he hated. Well, there was a huge name one. I won't say the name because I guess you don't want to say it. But that came in and said, oh, thank God, like for all these years, Jackie wouldn't let me on. And it was actually, actually someone Jack was a huge fan of. Right down. I think I know who you're talking about. I know about. who he's talking about. Yep, that's oh, yeah, yeah, the guy. That's, that's okay. That's the guy. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. No, maybe I shouldn't say it. But, but right, it's, right, it's a, right, he thought Jackie... I thought that guy, when he came on the show last time, said it on the air, but... Uh, well, here, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, not. Write down what he said. Uh, said, <laughs> said, said you know, draw a picture. Uh, you know, Benji, there's times to joke. This is uh, Bob, Levy is, uh, Bob Levy's facing expulsion. One of the things that pissed me off the most, what the, the Levy said, was about, I hire guys from the show... You know, he'll meet people in public and he'll go feel uncomfortable. And he, Howard has told a lot of people, has been made every, he makes sure everybody leaves here feeling, com feeling comfortable. And he said to me, dude, you got the hardest job because, you know, he'll meet people in public and he'll go, yeah, sure, yeah, no problem. Call Gary. And then I got to do this, you know, the shitty work. He's yeah, bad you hand me the message to call him. But, 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 but uh, it's, it's a testament to Howard. Are you how saying you do the <laughs> shitty work, Jason? Was that, that comment right depends, It depends on the level of the celebrity. Gary used to call me the uh, angel of death. I, I give, but Jason gets to do like people you've never heard of. I, I, I like yeah, I'll take Richard Jenny. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> may he, that may was he, no no that was different. May he rest. Which injured. is really tragic. If Jason is dancing on his grave no, he's cracking up. No, no, I feel bad obviously, but the whole like when you tell the story, could he pretend not to be him on the phone? He, and then, I, yeah, there's a whole thing going on. Jason did hysterics over someone who killed himself two days later. You're a sick mother, Jason. No, listen, it's sad that he killed himself. He seemed like a oh, nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> But like, Gary's like, I can't deal with him anymore. You gotta call him back. I said, I said, Jason, you gotta call because I, I can't. I've run out of ways to say no without embarrassing both of us. So the message was from a Mrs. Somebody, Mrs. Smith, on behalf of Richard Jenny. So I call back and a, and a guy answers the phone and I goes, Mrs. Smith, there. And he goes, No. And I go, What's well, this? Jason from the Howard Stern show. Um, can I leave a message? He goes, From the Stern show. And I go, yeah. He goes, It's Richard. This is Richard Jenny. So then I go, Oh well. You know, sorry to say, we're passing on you for now. We're, we're overbooked, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, wow, Howard's just done with me, isn't he? he? Just It's over, right? And I go, no, no, it's just, you know, we love you, but we're just, you know, we're full. And then a day later, he shot himself. <laughs> and the humor you find in this is Mrs. Smith was a character. <laughs> As the years have gone on, I found the humor in this situation. See, that, that to me becomes more the weird, the weird thing. Like, uh, remember in the movie uh, uh, The Big Chill? And uh, they go. The, the guy dies at the beginning. You know, kills him at the beginning of the movie. And they're in the car, and they go, uh, "Oh, he called me. I never called him back." And the guy goes, "Oh, I'm sure that's why he killed himself." Yeah, right, right. Everybody who had any contact right. with that person for a week before is sure they're the catalyst for what happened. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But I mean, listen, suicide is very serious, and people shouldn't, you know, seek help if you're depressed. If you missed it, if you missed it, here's Drive how. Responsibly. <laughs> here's how Greg and Howard came to a phone when I call. Came to a solution. I offered you. The